Hey folks, uh, we want to take just a, a couple of minutes here. Let's talk about that product that we delivered. And what we want to talk about is why is that valuable? How is that going to grow for us? And what does that mean from a revenue opportunity standpoint and the future of new? So since the very beginning, we've talked very much so a lot about, you know, what's our roadmap? What's our technology pieces? And it really starts with, you know, the battery and the battery has to plug in and it has to charge with something. Now we talk about you know things or concepts like 15 minute charge times and what that means and why that matters. That's been something that we've talked about since day one. But all of that technology has really been driving us towards the, the future, which is the vehicle systems that we're developing here at New. All of those systems are built on software, hardware technology platforms that basically operate the intricacies, the functionalities of each one of those systems. So for our initial customer, which we can't name them, we can't talk about them, they've asked that we don't do that, but they had a specific set of requests. And here at New, we've really been focused on how do we get to that end vision and that end goal in such a way that we're doing things like reducing cost, we're decreasing the time to market, how do we build these large complex systems within the vehicles and within charging networks and within the battery systems? How do we do that in the most efficient way we possibly can? And a lot of you remember, or you might remember, we talked about things like an Omega module. That is the core functional system that we intend to power everything within those vehicle segments, but also it powers the controllers and systems in our battery systems, it controls the charging systems, it controls aspects of charging systems, it controls a large aspect of the vehicle systems. We've talked a lot about, you know, today vehicles, they have 150 plus controllers in those vehicles and we're targeting and we've actually shown and demonstrated, we believe we can get that down to roughly about 32 controllers in a vehicle. That's a massive cost reduction, that's a massive reduction in complexity and the technology that we ship for the first customer, that's what it's focused on. Now that particular customer, they have a battery system, they have some controllers that are tied to that, they have a thermal management system, an HVAC system, those are critical pieces if you wanna charge something in 15 minutes. Now if you recall, we're building battery technology, cell and pack technology, we're developing that here at New. We're developing charging technology to provide enough power to charge those pack systems in 15 minutes. But in order to do all of that, they have to have these hardware and software or embedded firmware systems that are controlling those pieces. So this particular customer, they have battery systems, they have controllers, they, have, they need a heating and cooling system, they've got power electronics, they've got vehicle systems that we have to interact with for an existing vehicle application. So what we developed for them were those core pieces, those core controller systems, BMS systems, operating within our own battery pack systems, but also their systems, the software and hardware systems to control that, as well as the heating and cooling systems that are incredibly efficient to manage not just their battery pack systems, but their powertrain systems and various other aspects and operations of the vehicle. So those core products that we shipped and the reason why those matter is because those are now scalable solutions that we can put into other vehicles. We can put those into charging systems. We can put those into energy storage solutions. We can scale that technology. It becomes the, the basic foundation of everything that operates those particular aspects of this future of energy that's abundant, available, and accessible. As we start to look at taking energy storage and deploying that into charging systems or home systems, or we look at deploying that into commercial properties, these technology solutions that we ship to this first customer those are the basic operational building blocks, the functional systems that are going to manage those battery packs in those particular applications. That now becomes a scalable technology platform and a scalable set of solutions that we intend to provide or um, implement into one of the critical things that the market's looking for today, which is charging an infrastructure and tying that into energy storage and applications, which is battery packs and cell solutions. Now in the next video, we're gonna go deep into what does that mean for the company? How do we dive into those particular products and solutions? What's that mean from future aspects of the company's perspective, from a revenue perspective, growth perspective? 
how are we going to leverage this technology to build from here?